So the last triangle congruent uh, theorem or criterion that we're going to talk about is AAS, which stands for angle, angle, side. So it's very similar to angle, side, angle that we talked about before, but this time rather than the side being between the two angles, it's after. So it's not the included side, it's the non-included side. So two angles and a non-included side. So it's a little bit different, but very, it's still pretty similar to uh, angle, side, angle. So we'll jump into a proof right here. Um, we're going to do a flow proof. And we're going to prove that the two triangles here are congruent, triangle ABC and triangle EDC. So we are told that AC is congruent to EC, so you write that down and say that it's given. And we are told that M is parallel to N. You write that down and say it's given. Now there's two statements that are coming off of the parallel statement. And that's because we have two different transversals. We have those, um, that transversal, which forms those angles. So we get those two angles are congruent. So that is angle CED. and angle CAB, and those are congruent because they are alternate interior angles. We can also go the other way with this transversal, which creates that Z shape and marks off these two angles. So those are alternate interior angles. Those are EDC and ABC. And again, those are alternate interior angles. So with everything that we marked, we had these two angles congruent, we had those two angles congruent, and AC is congruent to EC. Now we've got three pieces of information. We have two angles. The side is not between them, congruent to these two angles with the side not between them. That's what we're looking for for angle, angle, side. The side's not in between, it's off to the side of them. So here's another flow proof. This one's pretty, uh, pretty bare bones. CB is parallel to ED. That's given. AB is parallel to CD. That's given. And CB is congruent to ED. That was given. So we have the three given statements. And if we take CB is parallel to ED, And we're going to take the flagpole here, that looks like a flagpole, as a transversal. So if we have parallel lines with the transversal, that means that these two angles right here, in the triangles that we're trying to prove, are congruent. ACB is congruent to 
CFD. And those are corresponding. And that's why they're congruent. Then we're going to take the other parallel lines, A, B, and C, D. Also with that same transversal right there. And we have some more corresponding angles in that spot. So we have angle B, A, C is congruent to angle D, C, E. That's because those are corresponding also. So we have those angles as well as CB and ED. CB is congruent to ED. We have two angles. The side is not between them. That's enough to show that those two gray flags or whatever they are are congruent because of angle, angle, side. So here's a pretty similar looking picture. We're going to prove um, triangles are congruent. So my favorite is two column proofs. I always do two column proofs when given the option. So we're going to start by writing down the given. ABC is congruent to DEF. And we're also going to mark it A, B, C, D, E, F. Then we're told B, C is parallel to E, F. Also given. E, C, and E, F. So they have this transversal. Which means their corresponding angles, which would be right here and here, will be congruent. So their corresponding angles right there and there are congruent. So that's angle B, C, A. And that's congruent to angle EFD because they were corresponding. And we need one more piece of information, which is given to us. AC is congruent to DF. So looking at our drawing now, we have an angle, two angles, the side that's not included, congruent to those same corresponding angles in the side. So the triangles are congruent. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Two angles, the side is not included, so angle.